Welcome back digital watch fans to vintage digital watches and to this review and why are we looking at a watch from the side well I had no other idea of how to introduce this watch but I promise you it's going to be interesting if a gas meter something like this had an illegitimate child with a watch this would be the result and just gaze your eyes upon this thing and without a doubt the novelty of this timepiece is the way it represents our and it has those drums that rotate and you can and it will keep time that way as you just saw it and uh, it's sort of a new take on a jump hour watch I suppose and uh, I stumbled upon it on Yahoo Auction Japan stocked for a bit and decided to get it and it can be compared actually with a Devon tread watch and if you don't know what that is here's a picture of it uh, this watch is uh, in a price league that I don't even want to talk about but yeah sort of similar way to represent the hour now you can imagine that this watch will get a lot of questions from people around you and for that purpose it even has a demo mode if I press that button each of the wheel will turn three times and then it will come back uh, at the correct hour sort of like a party piece and it's still going and yeah there we go it's 12 and 10 minutes uh, now design wise uh, it is sort of retro looking but the dimension wise is where it actually stands out in not such a good way because here is a contemporary G-Shock well sort of contemporary and here is this thing oh by the way it's called Future Funk the brand and it is just massive it's 44 millimeters in diameter and even in thickness as you can see uh, it's almost as thick as the G-Shock and mind you this case is metallic so you can only imagine that it's as heavy as half of a brick now going back to the way it represents our uh, it's a funny thing that if you leave it on your nightstand and go to sleep right before you go to sleep you tend to hear the drums rotating because every time it rotates a drum it will send out a few pulses to a small motor I suppose and you can just hear those tiny clicks So yeah, it's not something that you can't go to sleep to, but it's definitely going to put a smile on your face uh, the first time you will hear it. And here is a shot of it on the wrist. And as you can expect, it is absolutely massive. It extends with the lugs almost to the end of my wrists, uh, which is not exactly a very pleasing look unless you're a fan of those wall clock watches that you can hang on your hand and here it is next to the G-Shock and you can see what I'm talking about and if you want to get something else because you are correctly assuming that they do other models with this module inside and if you go to their website you will see that they have quite a selection uh, but they are all at least 43 millimeters in diameter so if you're not a fan of a big watch then uh, yeah you might want to give this on a skip now in terms of price on their website they range from 10,000 yen to 20 something thousand yen and uh, you can do a quick conversion 1,000 yen is around uh, $10 so 10,000 yen is about a hundred ish dollars so not cheap but I looked up on the internet drum watch and what do you know Skme also does one now Skme is a brand that does knockoff watches and they are most famous for copying the Casio AE-1200 I don't know how they can get away with that but they did the same philosophy on this watch and uh, they, they just wanted to uh, put the watch out to market and they cased it in something that looks like a smart watch case to me the prices are the way I saw them on uh, eBay right now I think between 17 pounds and 30 something pounds which is a lot cheaper than mine I bought this from Yahoo Auction Japan for 6,000 yen uh, you can add to that shipping and the other costs 
but uh, the difference is substantial. And what I mean by that, Future Funk, it's a brand that I never heard of before. But if you look at all the models that uh, have this module inside, uh, they've been thoughtfully designed to look something uh, like back from the 70s uh, or early 80s with jump power clocks. They have a sort of a retro look to them. The Skamey one, I don't know what it's trying to be. Now I haven't this opened this watch uh, until now because I just had it for a week and have been wearing it and I know that people on the bus to work uh, just keep staring at my hand and you can see their eyes just light up if they catch the drums rolling. Uh, but anyway, let's give it an opening and see uh, what the module looks like. Okay, so I popped off the back cover off camera and uh, yeah okay so what do we have here uh, it says centra way no jewels technology patented so i don't know if centra way is the manufacturer of the model but i have to look it up can we lift it out of the case okay there we go so nothing too much to add Uh, and you can see the, this, uh, these parts right here, they are all identical and I suppose they house the motors that turn the drums. Not going to open it further, but uh, if Centerway is indeed the manufacturer, I suppose that anyone can, anyone can buy this module from them and they can integrate it into whatever they want. I love the watch. Uh, no doubt it is something uh, interesting and it's quite a novelty and uh, I bet they had more success if they made this in a smaller size like I don't know 20% smaller something like that. Now I do like this watch but it's not something that I am going to fall in love with and that is because it is just too big if they made it I don't know 10 or 20% smaller. I think it would have been an instant hit with the watch lover community, but I guess that's not what they were going for. It is, after all, a fashion watch, something that uh, will probably go away in a few years. Hopefully somebody will take note uh, of this system and make a smaller one uh, at a more affordable price. So yeah, this has been the review of the Future Funk uh, what it's called FF 101 okay let's just call it the uh, drum watch drum roller watch um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one bye